Hey, what's happening guys? Thanks for stopping by. Uh, happy Tuesday evening. So yeah, I'm in the house, uh, doing the house sitting, and I know it's bad lighting, but you don't really need to see me anyway. So I want to cover some questions that were asked on the last video about this whole thing I'm doing with the generator and the new AC for van life. I think I've thought this thing through as well as I could do it. I'm looking at it this way. I'm only going to use this air conditioner for, what, five months out of the year, uh, if that much. So I didn't want a window unit permanently mounted in that back window, you know, bouncing around for the whole year, all the time. I wanted something that um, I wouldn't be worried about you know, not being able to stabilize it well enough because, you know, I plan to do some some boondocking, you know, out in the wilderness and it's very rough, washed out roads and stuff, you know, and having that air conditioner bouncing around in that window back there, even with a nice stabilized bracket on it, just bothered me. And couple that with really not needing it, but less than half the year. So that's why I'm going with a portable AC unit. Another uh, thing I thought about is, um, in about November, if I had to, I could take the portable AC out and store it in this garage here at this house that I house it. They're totally cool with stuff like that. And let it stay here until the next spring or summer, you know, so I wouldn't have to have it with me all the time. Same goes for the generator. I have no need for a generator except to run that AC. Everything else, I'm solar and battery powered and alternator powered. So that's another thing, you know, I could store it here in this garage. You know, drain the carburetor out at the end of summer, you know, early fall, and then uh, prep it for storage. And then not have to carry it around with me all the time until next spring or, you know, early summer when I need it. So, um, that's the way I'm thinking about things on this. I ordered a lot of stuff today. I ordered the generator. I didn't get the Westinghouse. I got the one that's the AI Power, that's the Walmart brand. And I've been watching it for quite a while. It started out about the same price as the Westinghouse. And all of a sudden, I guess with everything that's going on, man, the price really dropped. I guess encouraging people to buy. And I couldn't pass up on it. I had to do it. I had to go ahead and get it. So I ordered it. And I ordered the uh, portable air conditioner. It's an 8,000 BTU. But I don't know if you know this or not, but the way uh, the guidelines for gauging the BTU has changed. They have to be more accurate in their advertising now. An 8,000 BTU portable air conditioner is really about 5,500 BTU. So that would be perfect. You know, a 5,000 BTU would be more than enough to cool the van. Because what am I living in? Uh, 10 feet long by 6 feet wide? <laughs> you know, there's no room that small. I could probably get by with a 1,000 BTU air conditioner. So this will be plenty, and with the 2,000 watt generator, it won't be putting the stress on it. It'll have plenty of starting watts for when that compressor kicks on. And then once the compressor stabilizes, that wattage goes way down. And it has eco mode on it. And I can also charge my house batteries from it. I don't know why I would need to do that, but it comes with a cable and a 12 volt portion for you can charge your deep cycle batteries. Um, you know, I don't know why I would ever need that. If I'm boondocking, I'm going to set the solar panels out. You know, but anyway, I have that capability. So that covers the portable AC and the generator. Also, I also ordered a cargo carrier for the trailer hitch under the back bumper. I already have a class 3 hitch on there. Remember, I got that at a flea market about eight months ago. Never used it. But it's there. 
And so I ordered one. I had been watching it on Amazon for months. And all of a sudden, the price dropped on it. And I just couldn't pass it up. I said, i got to buy it now because it's not going to go any lower. In the last few days, prices just went way down on things. And I think it's because of the virus and nobody's buying anything but food and toilet paper. <laughs> so, yeah, that encouraged me to buy. Yeah, when you, I saw the price drop on that thing 10% in a day. And it had already been going down over the last few weeks. So I scooped it up, got it ordered. It's coming in. All this will be in within about a week to 10 days. And then I'll start uh, putting it in. Now, after the last video, I went ahead and cut out that uh, opening behind the license plate. And I'm going to keep that covered with the screen to keep bugs out, you know. And I'm also going to have it where in the uh, wintertime, when I'm not going to use the AC, I'm going to have a little, uh, a little board or a little cover that I can put over it and seal it up for the whole winter, you know. And, it, and I can do, I can go as crazy with the insulating of this little cover as I want to. You know, it'll probably have a foam board on it and some uh, reflectix and all that stuff. I can do as much insulating as I want. But I think, I think I've, I've thought this through about as well as I can. I've had months to think about it and consider every angle of this that I can. So I think I'm doing it the right way, having everything where I can use it when I need it, but not permanently mounting anything. Just keeping uh, everything as flexible as possible. And uh, let's talk about one other thing. Uh, someone had mentioned, you know, could you do this in a minivan? You could, uh, absolutely, with a portable AC unit, you could sit it uh, between the uh, passenger seat and the dash and run the hose out the window there on the passenger side. Of course, you'd have to have a generator. You can't run one of these things off of a battery bank. There's no way you could put enough batteries in a, in a minivan <laughs> to run that thing over 30 minutes. So, so um, let's see, what else? Okay, so another thing, let's talk about money. The price of all this. My goal is when I'm said and done with buying all this stuff, the, the cargo rack, the AC, the generator, the little locking pin that holds it onto the trailer hitch, uh, all kinds of things. You got, I got to get a gas can. Got to get a storage trunk to put all this stuff in. My goal is to keep it under what I would have normally spent on a month's rent and utilities when I was in my old apartment. See where I'm going with this? That makes me feel so much better thinking, hey, I'm getting all this stuff, I'm getting all squared away for the summer, and I'm still only spending what I would have normally spent on a month's rent. Now that's the key right there. That, that makes everything seem so much more reasonable. And you know, if, you, if you've been watching this channel, you know I'm a miser. So I haven't spent this sum of money on anything in a long time. And it hurt to see that go, uh, that order go through and then check my banking app and see that credit card balance. But I'm still, I'm just going to pay it off when the bill comes in, you know, no I'm sticking to my plan of my budgeting and pay everything off as soon as it comes due. Don't carry a balance on the credit card. So I think that's all the questions. You know, we covered about everything I can think of and trying to explain my reasons of why I'm doing it this way. And I hope it's helpful to you. All right, guys, take care. Be well. Smash the bell. Good night.